Hello guys, let us see this problem in Hacker Rank called Java sort. But this is a different kind of sort. We have to sort this firstly. The criteria is C. The ID, we have the data of the students, which is the ID, name, and the CGP. So the thing is, we are going to compare them by using the CGP. But the thing is, whenever we compare by using CGP, we will compare it in a reverse order. Because why? Because whoever will have the less CGP, he will be the lesser preferable student. So who, basically, whoever's CGP is more, he will be more preferable or his name will be more above, right? So basically, we are comparing in a reverse order because we are comparing it with, with respect to the greater CGP, right? That's why we'll just reverse this compar comparison. This point will come in the next part of video. So this is fine. But if what if the CGP is same? So if the CGP is same, they have told us to compare by using the first name. But even if the first name is same, then we have to compare by using the ID, which is unique, which cannot be the same. So basically, we'll compare this by reverse order. After that, by we'll, we'll compare by using this, and after that, we'll compare by using this. Okay, I hope you have got that. So I'll do one thing. I'll just copy this code from here and paste it on IntelliJ so that we can use some shortcuts to understand what is happening. So this is our class student. We'll go to that afterwards. So this is our public class solution, which contains the main method. It is taking the test case and all using while loop and all and it is having a student list. Okay. And it is taking in the ID, the first name and the CGPA. And afterwards, what it is doing is basically it is saying student, whatever the student is, it is class student. It is creating a new object of that student called ST, which will contain the name, first name and the CGPA. So basically each and every new line will create a new object of that student, which will, which will, which object will get Oh, sorry, that object will get added to this list, which is nothing but this list. So this list will get, so basically the student object will get added to this new list. So basically what it means is this list will contain each and every object of the student class with the data of that student. And that data is nothing but ID, uh, first name and the CGP, right? They have just defined it and it is as it is private. So they have used getters and setters. That's why they have set them over and they have used the get method over here. So basically whenever you use get, it will just print that out, right? Whenever you try to s out and so sorry, system.line.print line out dot print line, you will get and you, when you type get, we will get CGP or whatever, it, it will print out the CGP, right? Fine. I hope you understood the code that they have already defined for us. Then they have basically used a for loop to print out the data of the students, right? Not the data, actually the first name. But the thing is, we don't have to print out the first name directly. We have to sort it before that. So before printing out, let us sort it simply. So for sorting that, uh, let us do one thing. Let us use collections dot sort method. So because collections is a class, when I write dot, I can get the so hold on. Collections is a class. When I write dot, I can get the methods to it, and you can just say, see collections dot sort. So if you see, there are integers suggesting two things. One is the list that I want to sort which is the student list over here and the other thing hold on i'll just type it so student list if i write a comma so and if you just see i'll just hit control plus p if, if you see it is suggesting a null label called comparator so for that we'll have to use the comparator class right and even if you hit control plus p it is showing us something right so this we don't need that i'll just use the comparator class and now we have to compare it right so if i write dot i can get the method comparing so the thing is first of all we are going to compare as i told you by using the cgpa but in the reverse order so for that i'll use the student but the thing is this cgpa whatever it is that cgpa is there inside the student class so for that i'll have to write student and if you see it is already suggesting us dot student and then to colons and then get cgp so they will compare according to the cgp but the thing is as i told you we have to compare it in a reverse order so if i write dot i can simply write reversed so that it will check in a reverse order so this is fine but the tricky part is if you even if you compare by using cgp what if the cgp is are same then you have to check by using name so for that i'll write a dot and if you see it is only suggesting us then comparing then we have to compare by the first name and again the first name is there in the student class so again the same thing student and then get first name and after that again as I, as you all know we have to compare even if the first name is same then we have to compare it by using the id so hold on dot then comparing uh, which is this thing and uh, again after that i have to do the same thing so student and i think i'll have to find it yeah id and let's just separate them so i'll just hit enter so that we can see what is happening 
this is just a change that I have to do actually and let us just first of all run this code and use the sample thing which is there somewhere here yeah and the answer will be Ashish, Fahim, Samara and so on so paste it head and okay I think the answer is pretty much correct so I'll just do one thing I'll just change the part of the code that we should change which is somewhere here okay uh, and paste it okay not i don't want that i want to i should copy that first probably so which is somewhere here i'll just copy the statement which is pretty big and paste it simply over here and submit it directly because i know the sample test case is right okay i think it is having some problem because i hit enter over here so i don't know actually so let us again copy this thing completely so that it it won't show me any error now okay copy it and now i'll just reset this code because i think i missed some bracket somewhere so after this thing i just have to paste this thing and now submit it okay i got the deal it is not in java 7 it is in java 8 that's what i was giving me an error and paste it and i hope it works finally yeah thank god so that's all from my side you can subscribe to our channel to get updates regarding new videos that's all stay tuned and keep learning thank you